These graphs are known as motion curves. The top graph represents position versus time. The middle graph, the green graph, represents velocity versus time. And the bottom one is acceleration versus time. The derivative of a function measures the gradient of the curve. So the gradient of the xt curve gives the value of the velocity at any instant. And the gradient of the velocity time curve gives the value of the acceleration at any instant. Notice when the acceleration is equal to zero at t equals two seconds, therefore dv by dt is equal to zero when t equals two seconds, and therefore the gradient of the velocity time curve must be zero at t equals two. The velocity has reached its maximum at t equals two seconds. Notice that the velocity is equal to zero at t equals zero and t equals four seconds, and therefore dx by dt must equal zero at t equals zero and t equals four seconds. Therefore, the gradient of the xt graph must be zero at t equals zero and t equals four seconds. The particle has reached its maximum displacement to the right or in the positive direction at t equals four. Now we can use these motion curves to draw what are known as motion diagrams. And a motion diagram shows the position of a particle at various times during the motion. So by looking at the graphs on the left-hand side, we are going to now draw motion diagrams on the right-hand side. The particle starts from the origin at x equals zero with zero velocity, but a positive acceleration. Under this acceleration, the particle gains a positive velocity and moves in the positive direction. From time t equals zero to t equals two seconds, x, v, and A are all positive. At time t equals two seconds, the acceleration has reduced to zero. The velocity has reached its maximum. And from t equals two seconds to t equals four seconds, the velocity is positive, but the acceleration is negative. Therefore, the particle is still moving in the positive direction, but it's slowing down. At t equals four seconds, the velocity is zero. The particle has stopped. The position coordinate has reached its maximum value. From then on, both v and a are negative. Therefore, the particle starts to move in the negative direction with increasing speed. At t equals six seconds, the particle passes through the origin. Notice that the displacement is zero but the distance traveled equals 64 meters. For t greater than six seconds, x, v, and a will all be negative. The particle keeps moving in the negative direction faster and faster. 